guys, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different and this hairstyle is going to be good for Halloween or maybe crazy hair day at school. But we're going to be making a unicorn. To start with, I have a piece of cardstock and I've cut this basically just in a square. It's about five inches long on each side. This doesn't need to be exact and it just depends on how big you want your unicorn horn to be and how long your hair is as well. So I'm just going to take this and start rolling it in. Just like that. So if you start with a square piece of paper, you'll notice that the bottom of this is going at an angle. And depending on how you want your horn to look, you can place this on her head so that it's facing out like that, which is probably more of how an actual unicorn would be. Or you can turn it around so that it's more straight up. So the first step with her hair is that I'm going to section out a square here on top. Now that I have this square sectioned off, I'm just going to put it in a temporary ponytail for now while I work on the rest of her hair. I'm going to do this ponytail in two parts. So what I'm going to do is just section off the front piece of hair on both sides of her face and I'm going to leave that out for now. And then the rest of this is going to go up and I want it in a pretty high ponytail. You want this to be almost right on top of her head. If your hair is on the thicker side, you may want to add another elastic here just so that it stays super tight and straight up. And then what I'm going to do is take these side pieces and slick them back and then I'm going to bring them underneath the ponytail and add another elastic just to connect them on both sides and that is just going to help give it a little bit of volume and lift. So here's what it looks like at this point. I have the main ponytail and then there's a small ponytail underneath. I'm going to take this small ponytail and wrap it around the elastic of the main ponytail just to hide it and to give it more lift. And then I'm going to take it and just pull it back through this elastic here to keep it in place. So here's how that ponytail ends up looking. Now we're going to work here on the horn. Now I'm going to take this little horn that we cut out in the beginning and I'm going to place it around this square of hair. And you'll want to get it positioned exactly how you want it to sit. And then you can go ahead and tape this flap down so that it will stay in place. Now depending on the thickness and length of your hair, you may need to do this in a couple of sections. Her hair is pretty long so I'm just going to do it all at once. If your hair is shorter I would suggest like splitting it in half and wrapping one strand down and then doing another one on top of it so that you can completely cover this paper. I'm just going to take hers and just start wrapping it. As you're doing this I wouldn't worry so much about getting this absolutely perfect. It's a pretty silly style and so if you have hairs popping out or things aren't laying exactly right, just don't worry about it. You basically just want to cover up as much of that paper as you can with her hair. And then you're going to take some bobby pins along the bottom and just pin all of those ends into place and that's going to kind of help stabilize this as well. So I'm just bringing the bobby pins kind of underneath that paper. And as you're bringing them around, if you can cross them underneath there, it's going to hold things tighter for you. Alright, this hairstyle is basically done. There's a few different variations you can do. If you're going for like a My Little Pony look, you could actually take some colored hairspray and make this whatever color you want. If you want this ponytail fluffier, more like an actual horse's tail, you could take it and curl it and tease it a little bit more. The other thing that would be cute is to make a series of buns back here instead of a ponytail and then it would be more like a horse's mane. 